Fidelis. Where is your husband? Fidelis, what's going on? Please come out here! Fidelis. Augusta, what's going on here? Your son is dying at the hospital. That's what's going on. I beg your pardon? <laughs> is this some kind of April Fool's joke? I'll show you April Fool's joke. Oh, oh. You lousy excuse for a friend. Fidelis. Fidelis, what's wrong? Ex explain it to me, please. Ask your husband to explain how he got my wife pregnant. Your wife just had a bouncing baby boy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, thank God. Thank, thank, you. thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Can I see them? Oh, yes, you can. Okay. Actually, she, with the nose, she, she looks like Anita. 
the eyes. Yeah. Look at Anita's nose now. And look at his own nose. It has this kind of resemblance in their nose, you know. True. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Everybody, shh. Shoo, shoo. Let me come and greet my husband. Ah. <laughs> the new one. Yeah, okay. Hi Fidelis. Hi Susan, how are you? Mm -hmm. Well, I, uh, I've been busy, you know. Well, in celebration of the newest member of our family, given to me by the most precious woman in the entire world, <laughs> I took the liberty of buying everyone a gift. <laughs> Right, and I'm sure <clears throat> this one is mine, right? Um, let's start with the children first. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Anita? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. Henry? Okay. This is yours. Okay. And John Paul? <laughs> so where is mine? Uh, I was on that give bed now. Well, <laughs> and for the beautiful oh. one herself, this. Thank you. Don't come my own gift is the smallest. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know, after buying all I could for the children, I, I ran out of cash. Oh. <laughs> this is all I could afford. What was inside? Find out. I can guess. It's true. Because okay. I out. know it Let's is. I'm sure it's that jury I pointed out to you last week. Okay. No problem. It's too expensive. You didn't have to. Wonderful family, great children. I couldn't be any happier. I love you and I cherish you. I love you too, Felix. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Can I go sit the car? You want to see the car? Just go sit the car. Want to see it? Want to see it? Want to see it? Just keep the seat. Bag. Ah. I'm not with your school bag. Mommy, tell John Paul to get me my school bag. Are you with her school bag? Huh? If you want to get her school bag this minute, hurry! 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 Yes, hey, come here. What is that you're wearing? It's my school uniform. Come here. Did I not ask you to wash the screen from yesterday? Mommy is lazy. I will squeeze your mouth the next time you dare do that to me. You... Hey, Anita, stop that! What are you doing with that? Stop that! What's going on? Are you people ready? Of course they are. Maybe I should get ready and let's go. Your daddy's already... Harry, yeah? Mm -hmm. How are you? Hello! Hello, my dear, how are you? Hello! My darling, how are you? Hello! Augusta, how are you? 
Mama, what a surprise. <laughs> mm. Look at the time. When did you leave the village? I took a night bus. Because I wanted to get you before you go to the office. Huh. That's That's a little bit. Mm -hmm. That sounds very serious, Mama. <laughs> well, let's go inside. Okay. You will take the children to school. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> so putting me in front here. I'll be back here. She just give me two minutes. Let me just get my bag. Yeah? So, Mama, this is your unexpected visit this morning. I must say you took me by surprise. I know you will be. But I said I'd rather surprise you than let the unforeseen of tomorrow surprise you. Unforeseen? What do you mean by that? Wait, 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 Mama. I hope this has nothing to do with all those Ifa priests and native doctors that prowl the village. Fidelis. I became a Christian when you married your wife, Augusta. And I have not relented on it. Thank God for that. Because all you women in the village, you're very susceptible to such things. Anyway, what's this unforeseen about? I have not been feeling very well. Each time I think of you, the children, and especially your wife, Augusta. Mama, what has Augusta done again? Augusta has given me four great children. Doesn't she deserve to be a queen in this family? Queen or not, I don't feel right about her. Moreover, I don't like the sort of dreams I've been having of her and, and the children lately. Dreams? You're beginning to scare me, Mama. What sort of dreams? I can't explain it. But they're no good. And that is why I'm here. Wait, you mean you came all the way from the village this early morning just because of a mere dream you had? Yes, and it is not a mere dream. Mama, I have a lot to do in the office and I'm already running late. Fidelis, what's with the dream? What dreams, Mama? What is wrong with you? It's not as if you're that old. You mean you came all the way from the village this early morning and you expect me to put aside all I have to do just because of a dream you had? I'll see you when I come back. I'm already... Fidelis! Fidelis! Listen, it is not just a dream. It is not. I don't care what it is, Mama. The next thing you're going to tell me now is that there is something evil or wrong about Augusta. Exactly. That's what I said. That is what I want us to talk about. Mama, listen to me and listen carefully. This will not be the first time I'm going to say it, neither will it be the last time. I love Augusta, my wife. I respect and adore her. I cherish her. In fact, I think the world of her, she's an amazing woman. And there is nothing anybody can say to make me turn against her. Fidelis, 
do not turn your back on the words and visions of the elders. Such as the dream you just had, eh? Yes, it is not just a dream. Mama, dreams are not real. Okay, look at me. Two nights ago, I dreamt that I became the president. But I'm still here with you. Dreams are not real, Mama, period. You already know the answer to that question, don't you? You are to tell me. Only you can explain this dark and evil mystery hanging over my son's roof. Mama, if anything is wrong, why don't you talk to me, Mama? Talk to me like a mother to a daughter. What is it? What have you done, Augusta? What evil have you committed in the dark? I beg your pardon, Mama. You have a skeleton in your cupboard. Ske God forbid! God has already forbidden it. When he opened my eyes to the mystery, your hands are soiled. That is why I have been having these repeated nightmares. Mama, after all these years, why these accusations all of a sudden? Mama, haven't I done enough to show love and submission to you and your son? Haven't I? Posterity will be the judge of that, dear child. Nothing is hidden under the sun. He's going to work, but um, Mama is around, his mom, if you want to see her. Oh, really? Okay, let me just quickly say hello to her and then I'll be on my way. Okay, let me call her. Okay. Hi, Mama. Oh. Um, Good morning, Mama. I heard you're around. I don't know you. I'm Louis, Mama. Oh, it's been a very long time since we last saw and I can see you don't seem to recognize me. I'm your son's friend. Uh -huh. My son is not at home. Mama, actually, um, Louis is is is. Uh, Louis is what? It's all right, Augusta. It's all right. Mama has every right to ask. Okay. Mama, I'm your son's best friend. I'm also godfather to your grandson, John Paul. My car broke down, and I was hoping that Fidelis would give me a ride to my place of work. Obviously, you can see Fidelis is not at home. And the best thing you could have done was to leave instead of sitting down with his wife. I just said I was waiting to say hello to you. The last time I saw you was well over 16 years ago. Well, my son is not at home. Next time, make sure he is in. Not when only his wife is at home. I'm sorry, Mama. I guess I'd better leave now. Mama. 
Is everything all right? <laughs> it depends on you. Fidelis, it depends on what you have told your mother about me. It also depends on what you and your mother are harboring against me. <laughs> What's this all about? Where's my mother? In her room, I suppose. What has upset you? Tell me. Fidelis. Haven't I loved you enough? Hmm? Haven't I shown enough care? So you are your mother. Tell me. Haven't I? Listen. You mean the world to me. You like the breath I take. My life is meaningless without you. I love you. Four times, Fidelis. Four times. I've gone to the labor room and I've given you four beautiful children. But what more do you want from me? Hmm? If anything was wrong, couldn't you have just come okay. to me? Shh, 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 shh. You did nothing wrong. Mama is just getting old. She had this useless dream and got carried away. What dream? I don't know and uh, frankly I don't care to know. I want to know. I wish to know. Augusta. What is the dream? It's not important. Like I said, you did nothing wrong. I will sort this out, okay? This is really terrible. You need to say the way she talked to me this morning. Nobody has talked to me. It's like okay, that it's long okay. Time. Don't don't go on like this. This is really strange. Augusta, don't go on like this. She was so upset with me. She I said it's she okay. Said that it was. <laughs> There's a PTA meeting in our school. So my mom and dad are there. Okay, okay. Um, come, come on, let's sit down. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Now, Anita, tell me about your mother and the things she does when your father is not around. I don't understand, Grandma. Doesn't she do anything spiritual or... or or visited a native doctor? My mother doesn't do such things. Are you sure she doesn't come in with some voodoo or juju items? Don't you see such things lying around? No, Grandma. My mommy doesn't do such things. Well, maybe we should ask her. No, 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 no. Don't even mention it to her. Hmm? You know what? I think. 
think I will go and search the room myself. You mean mommy's room? Yes. It's for your own good and the safety of your father. Is there anything wrong? No, my darling, there's nothing wrong. And trust me, if there is, I will take care of it. That is why I have to go and search the room. She has been spending my son's money on. Eh? What is this one? Hey! Tomorrow now her people will say my son is not taking good care of her. Eh? Anyway, I know he's hiding something. And I must find it. She's hiding something evil about my son. Why is it that our grandma doesn't want to eat this since she came? <laughs> I don't know. You know all these old people, sometimes they behave very funny. How have you done that? Maybe she's afraid you'll poison her. Poison her? No, Anita, whatever gave you that impression? Because she thinks you have some charms in the house. So the other day, while you were away, she searched for your room. She did? Anita, your grandmother searched my room? She said she suspects that you must have tied daddy down with one charm or the other. So she searched for it in your room. Hi. What's cooking? Daddy, you're welcome. Are Your mother searched my room when I was away. She thinks that I am holding you down with charms. What sort of joke is that? Oh yes, Fidelis. The sort of joke that I'm not going to take in my matrimonial home. And certainly the kind of joke that I'm not going to take around my children. What does she mean by doing that? I'm going to stop this office. <laughs> Just hold on. Fidelis, I don't like this at all. What does she mean by that? What kind of impression is Mama trying to create a of my children? Searching my room when I'm away? Hell no, I'm going wait, to sell this wait, out. Wait, wait. First of all, who told you that? Mm -hmm. Anita told me this. And she certainly will never lie to me. Okay, um, let me handle this. This is a delicate matter, and it's my mother we're talking about. Let me handle it. I'll go and talk to her. Please, just calm down. Oh, 
Okay. I have something in my bag. I will help you to drop it on it. Let me see the other side. Okay, he's not here. Yeah? But I will drop something on it for you. Yeah? Mama. As soon as I. Henry, go inside. Let me speak with Grandma. I need to ask you something, Mama. Did you search the house while we were away? Mama, I need to know. Anita said she saw you searching the house for some juju which you claim my wife hid somewhere. It is for your own good. It's for your safety. Mama, I am happy with my family. Take a look at me. Take a look at my home. Take a look at my children. Are all these not enough to convince you that I'm having a wonderful time with my family? Something is wrong somewhere. I can feel it. First, it was your dream. Now you go about searching the entire house for, for, for some juju that you claim my wife planted somewhere. Have you forgotten how you danced when I married her? Have you forgotten that I hardly dream of you? And when I do, it comes out real. Mama, you are upsetting my wife and it's beginning to affect my family. I don't like it. Are you calling me a homebreaker? I didn't say that, but your activities are portraying you as such. I feel ashamed that my mother, my, my, my own mother is doing this to my wife before my children. Why? You don't have to raise your voice at me. Am I a child? Since I came, I have not been eating what your wife cooks. Have you asked me why? It doesn't bother you. You love your wife. So the rest of the world can go to hell. Mama, you're missing the point. <laughs> that is why I have to leave. I've already packed my things. I'm ready to go. Some birds sing in the forest and other birds will join in. And some will sing, warning other birds to fly to safety. You will come to look for me. I decided not to wait till tomorrow morning. I hope all is well. Well, um, not exactly. I wanted us to discuss something and it's about my mother. About your mother? Yes. What is wrong with her? She came to my house and left abruptly after accusing and upsetting my wife. Uh, accused your wife of what? <laughs> Uncle, she said she had had a certain dream. And as a result, she now holds something against my wife. <laughs> Is it old age that is affecting your mother or she's just bored? I don't know. I just know that my wife is very upset and believes that it's a conspiracy between my mother and myself. Uh, uh, I thought this is something serious. Is that why you left your work and the city to come down to this place? I couldn't think of anything else. I just need somebody to talk to her and make her understand it's just a dream. What is this dream all about? <sighs> Frankly, Uncle, I don't know. But ever since I was a child, my mother has been having dreams and nightmares and she always over-dramatizes them. I'll talk to her. fantastic about the time that I have to look at it. 
But I told you I'll be going back to the city this morning now. Am I holding you from going to wherever you want to go, Fidelis? Even if it is London, the road is clear, you can go. Mama, why are you like this now? You've changed. No. It is you who have changed. I am no longer the mother you used to listen to. I am no longer the mother whose words you valued. Next thing you will tell me now is that you love your wife and walk out on me, your own mother. Mama, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Now tell me, what is it you hold against Augusta? Tell me the thing she did to you and I will bring her to order. She is the one who has to tell us what she did and swear not to do it again. You mean you don't even know what she did? No, I don't. But I know she did something that no two eyes have seen except that of Chukwa Abiyama. Mama, how can you just wake up one morning and conclude that my wife did something to you and the thing you say she did, you don't even know? I may not know it, Fidelis. But look at all the dreams I've been having. Mama, you and this dream, 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 dream thing, it is this same dream issue that you used to upset Augusta. This is what we've been talking about. I upset Augusta, your wife. <laughs> hey! Hey! Fidelis, please go back to the city and lick the feet of your wife. As for me, I am going back inside to do something else. Agnes, I want you to listen to me. They say that a chick never brings mischief to his ex, but will be willing to give its life to protect its chicks from the hawk. The reason I'm telling you this is because your son Fidelis is not happy with you. Ah. The chick that strays away from the protective wings of its mother, nine has itself to blame, not the mother. Agnes, I have always known Fidelis as a caring person. Is there anything that you asked for that he does not give to you? I don't have any problem with Fidelis. It is the wife. But she used to be your favorite. So was Fidelis. Until he started to sing about how much he loves his wife. How I insult and upset her. Now, if I open my mouth to warn my son, it becomes an insult to the wife. What are you warning him about? About the constant dreams I've been having. What is this dream all about? My Every night, I dream about the same dream over and over and over again. Lots of vultures descending into my son's compound. Lots of vultures descending into Fidelis' compound? Yes. When these vultures descend into the compound, then snakes with two heads will now crawl out of the house into the compound as well. Eh? Wait. Then, Augusta, my son's wife, will now come out of the house to feed the vultures and later on play with the snakes. Hey. When she hears my son's car coming into the compound, she will tell the vultures 
to fly away hey! and the snakes to hide. What is the meaning of this dream? Nine, I don't know. But that is what I want to find out. I know there is something terrible this woman is hiding from my son. Something evil and terrible. And only her knows it. And I want her to confess. Did you relate this dream to Fidelis? How can I? When all he thinks about is how much he loves his wife. And how much uh, 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 he spends uh, millions on her whenever she gives him a child. That's a terrible dream. A confusing and strange dream. Kai! It was cut down, it fell right on top of the zinc. I got them to repair it, but I guess they didn't do a good job. Okay, I'll repair that. And those two windows at the back of the house, mm -hmm. they're so badly damaged, I had to nail them permanently. But, Mama, wait a minute. Does Fidelis know about all this? 
how can he know when he's been blinded by his wife Fidelis doesn't listen to me anymore there's only one person in his life now Augusta but he said he was here recently only to come and sing to me how much he loves his wife and how much his, uh, his wife is the queen of his heart and the mother of his life <laughs> mama Fidelis and his wife are living peacefully in Lagos I don't have a problem with that but I don't like the dreams I've been having about his wife she is hiding something I have heard about the dreams myself but mama you must understand that we are no longer children you all are still my children <laughs> okay mama let us forget about this dream matter okay I am hungry. Come and get me food to eat. <laughs> <laughs> The school dismissed 2.30, this is 4 o'clock. I know, I'm sorry. I was held up in the office and then your mother's phone was unreachable. I tried calling her so she could pick you people up, but it wasn't possible. Her phone is always having problems. Can't she change it? Daddy, I'm hungry. Okay, okay. We'll stop by at the fast food joint to pick up something for you boys to eat, okay? Okay. Now get into the car. Let's go. But your boy is not so weak now. I leave it alone. I'm going to court that. Harry, come back here.
blood in a hurry. Then let's get it. Or don't you have blood in your blood bank? We do not have a blood bank. And I am not sure if any other hospital nearby has the blood type required. Okay, I'm available. Can you take the blood in this? Okay. Yes. Check the blood group, cross match, and make sure the blood does not clot. Where is um, Harry and John? Elena is still in school at this time. I think that Harry is supposed to have picked them up from school. I don't know. Okay, take me back to the room. Let me call them and find out where they are. What the hell are you talking about, Richard? Is this some kind of joke or what? It's a blood man you see me in court. But medically, they are different times. Richard, what's all this crap about my blood being incompatible with the boy's own? You will have to get a father or any other relative to donate blood or the boy dies. I am the boy's father for crying out loud. That's Henry, my son. Don't you know Henry anymore? Are you saying? That boy lying in there is your son, Harry, your son? That's what I'm trying to tell you. Fidelis, there is no way you can be the father. The blood is incompatible. Richard, don't play with me when my son's life is at stake. I don't like it. I have been frank with you, Fidelis. That boy is not your son. The blood is incompatible, that is the truth. I say, yeah. I can't lie to you. This is my 25 years as a medical practitioner. We'll be friends. That boy is not your son. Gracias. 
is Henry's father? Who is Henry's? What kind of question is that? Are you drunk? Both of you go inside. Right now. I said go inside right now! I scream at the kids like that. Are you dead? Go inside! What are you waiting for? What is the problem? I'm going to ask you for the last time. Who is Henry's father? That is just killing me. What kind of question is this? What? Are you deaf? Felix, we can't, we can't be going down this lane again. I beg, I'm begging you. Who is it? I said, are you deaf? Oh my God, Felix, no. We're not going down this lane again. Please, I'm begging you. I don't have the strength for this. Felix, Felix, what is, what is it? I just, I need, I Felix, I need, 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 All this man is what? I want you to talk to me. And all I want is the truth. The truth about what? The truth about Henry. He's dying at the hospital. Jesus. He was knocked down by a car and he lost a lot of blood. Oh my God. Now who is his father? What do you mean by who is his father? For heaven's sake, Spinal. Is his father? You know that! Then how come my blood is not compatible with his? I donated some blood and it was not compatible with his. Now you either tell me the truth about Henry and save his life or lie and watch him die. Augusta, who is Henry's father? Let him come forward and donate some blood now or the boy will die. For the last time, who is Henry's father? Don't try my patience. Come here. I said, come here right now. Are you dead? Don't try my ass! No. Who is Henry's father? Please. 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 What's going on? 
Please come out here! Okay, please. Augusta, what's going on here? Your son is dying at the hospital. That's what's going on. I beg your pardon? <laughs> is this some kind of April Fool's joke? I'll show you April Fool's joke. Oh, you lousy excuse for a friend. Tennis. Oh. What's wrong? Ex explain it to me, please. Ask your husband to explain how he got my wife pregnant. What? I did what? Fidelis! Are you out of your mind? If you open your mouth again, I will poke your face in. Fidelis, I, I don't I, I don't understand. I don't understand. My son Henry is dying at the hospital and needs some blood. It is either his father, your husband, comes forward and donates some blood or the poor boy will die. No. No, no. Ask him. No. I said, ask him. Tell me this is not true. Please. Please, please. Don't tell this journey. You need to live with your best friend. No, it's no, it's no, no. Donation, are you talking uh, for the little boy now, the one who had an accident that I brought in here. Sir, you're back. Yes, yes, sir. You're checking the blood. No, 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 my blood was not compatible with the boy's own. But he is here to make the donation. Yes, yes. Well, have you seen the doctor? No, no. But let's get started. I'll see the doctor later. Okay, let's get the sign. <laughs> <laughs> Take this for cross machine. Okay, please do that as quickly as possible. Don't touch me. Don't you ever touch me. The man that brought the accident victim is here. He came with another man who wants to donate blood. But why running a test? There is no need. It's no longer required. Let me stop the extraction then. What do I tell them? Where are they now? They are downstairs. I'll see them myself. Somebody whose blood I think will be compatible with the boy's own. My friend, get up now. Let me look at you. Why? My son still. I mean, the boy still needs the blood, doesn't he? Not anymore. I'm really sorry. What do, you, what do you mean? I'm sorry. We lost the
Did anyone come looking for me? Come on, darling, I just asked you a question. Did anyone come just, looking just for me? Just shut up! Leave me alone! Just go! Go away from me! Where are you going? Lewis. Lewis! You dog! Louis, how could you do this to me? How? After all we've been through in this marriage, Louis. Louis, for so many years I remained so faithful to you! I loved you. I trusted you! Louis, why? What is it in this? What did you see in Augusta? I have no time for this, Cordelia. You have no time for what? You have no time for what? What are you running from? What is chasing you? Your sons? No, maybe nemesis. And suddenly you filthy slum! Get your hands off me! No, I won't! I said, get your hands off me! What's wrong with you? And where do you think you're going to? You are not going anywhere! Get your hands off the stupid No, I won't. I said get your hands off the stupid bag! Louis, me! for a while but I'll still get you. Let me see if you won't come back to your house. Oh, <laughs> 
And you thought you could cover it up? Well, what's going on? Baby, you can be safe about you. Henry died at the hospital today only for me to discover he was not my son. What is that supposed to mean? Henry was Louis's child. My wife slept with my best friend, got pregnant for him, and foisted the child on me. Now, do you begin to grasp the enormity of what she did? You are leaving today. You are leaving today. You are leaving today. You are leaving today. Nothing to say or do that will make me change my mind because she is leaving. I said she is leaving. You have no idea what it feels like. You haven't the slightest idea what it's like. That boy called me father. And I loved him like a son. He was my son, but he wasn't my son. Not because of the cold hands of death that snatched him away, but because of a filthy... <clears throat> that I called my wife. I can imagine the pain and shock you're going through. Believe me, Mama was right after all. Yeah, she was right. You mean she knew? She told me some time ago about some recurrent bad dreams she had had concerning Augusta. She stated very clearly that Augusta had a skeleton in her cupboard, but she didn't know exactly what it was. She told me about the dream as well. Recently, I had a couple of bad dreams concerning Augusta. And in the dream, she always stabbed me with a knife. 
Believe me, Mama was right. But I didn't listen to her. Listen, I... I don't know. You need to cut some sleep, okay? Sleep? Sleep has deserted me. This is my new companion. This is my new companion. All my dreams. Bad dreams. Now Henry is dead. The last time I came to your house, I saw that man. He came in the morning while you were away. And I wondered why. Who is this so-called Louis? Do you know him? I don't know him. But they say he's my son's best friend. I have known him for a very long time. Then how could you have been so careless? as to have allowed him to have an affair with your wife to the extent that he got her pregnant maybe they have been at it for a very long time until Urashi Yeke decided to expose them only he took the life of an innocent young boy Henry Mama you people should stop blaming Fidelis a man cannot be alone without friends oh shut up Emeka your brother is a fool, a blind fool. Each time I talk, all he sings about is how much he loves his wife and how I am an old foolish woman. I never called you foolish, mom. By all implications, you did. But guess who is the fool now? You married a woman only for another man to get her pregnant. Fidelis, are you sure that the other children are yours? Anita! Anita! Where are your brothers? Go and get them all dressed up and come out all of you right now. Come this way till tomorrow. I'm not waiting for anything. This has to be done now. You just came back. I said I'm not waiting. See Dr. Richard. You have an appointment with him, sir. No, but if you tell him I'm here, he will want to see me. Tell him Fidelis. Okay. Right. Um, hold on, sir. Positive. 
I think if you ask my advice, Fidelis, I will suggest you leave things the way they are. Know that these children may not be yours, but supposing the test comes out, and on the contrary, you have no paternity over these children that call you father. Richard, you have no idea how devastated the recent event has left me. Then why try to make things worse? Listen. I'm not going to live my life not being sure if these children are actually mine. God forbid. But if, on the contrary, what will you do? You send them away? I don't think so, Fidelis. At my age and status, it would be a big shame to just go on living without knowing certain truths about my family. I want this paternity test carried out. Oh, very well. I will take them to the lab section. And I will notify you when the result comes out. I brought you some food to eat. Augusta, you can't continue like this. You hardly eat and you hardly take your bath. Susan, you don't know the pain I'm going through. You don't know the shame. You don't know how torn apart I am. You don't know. Look, Augusta. I'm a woman too. And I know what it feels like losing a child. <laughs> losing my child. And then to be sent back in the same day from my husband's house. But to talk about the shame and disgrace I'm suffering from the revelation of this shameful act I created. I did years ago. All at one day. <laughs> But how did it all happen? I never knew you were having an affair with Louis. Augusta, talk to me. I don't know. Then how did it, this whole thing happen? You know, this hasn't just been my fault alone, you know. Do you remember when Fidelis used to beat me and throw me out of the house? Yes, I do, but that was barely three or four years into your marriage. Yeah. I am not opening that door. Go back to the place you are coming from, Fidelis. I am not going to open that door. 
Open this door before I break it. Break it. Augusta. I said open this door right now. Are you mad? If I count five and you don't open this door, you are finished. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Regard this again to the Augusta. That is not necessary. Please take her inside and go and fix her something to eat. Please do that quickly. You can see she's very tired. Let me show you to the guest room. Sorry. 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 Is it? Come in. Hi, Gosta. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Are you going out? Yes, I have an appointment. Oh, has your husband gone out already? Of course. He's an early riser. Anyway, he'll see your husband later in the day. For a week now, to your little girl, go home to that brute. Cordelia, look at me, just look at me. Why is this guy doing this to me? Am I his punching bag? Just look at me, Cordelia, look at me.
sorry I passed on you like this. I I didn't know you were dressed up. It's okay, really. I didn't hear you driving. Now, did my wife fix you breakfast before leaving this morning? No, she didn't, but uh, it's okay. I actually know my way around, really. Are you sure? <laughs> of course I do. Thank you very much, anyway. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. I was here at a place this morning to see your husband. You shouldn't have. What did he say, anyway? I did the best I could. I... I tried speaking with him, but he, he wouldn't listen. He wanted to come over to the house and pack your things for questioning and insulting him. I'm sorry. Felix. That man comes to the house every day. And every day, I smell alcohol in his breath. And he beats me up every day. Every day. No. Felix never thought in his world that one day, just one day, I will stand up to him. Punishing me like this. Did you not ask him? I'm sorry. I'm Did you sorry. ask him what I have I done to him? I can't calm down. I can't calm down. I can't calm down. It's too much for me to try. Right, right. Why is he beating me up all the time? Is there something I'm doing to him? Tell me. Please, just Did you right. ask him it's for right. me? Right. Why is that all right? Do right. this to me. No, I can't relax. I can't I'm relax. I'm just calm down again. <laughs> Just try and relax, okay? Just try. I can't relax. Oh. I can't relax. I'm a wreck. I can't relax. I can't okay, okay, relax. See, listen, listen. Just calm down. But it's everything okay. will be all right, okay? I can't calm down. Please. I can't calm down. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I can't, I can't relax. I'm down. No. That was how it started. All the love and warmth that I couldn't get from my husband. Louis gave to me. I couldn't stop it anymore. It just went on and on. And you mean his wife never knew? She was never around. She was always away. I thought there's enough I need to read myself of the trauma I was going through with fidelity. The minute I knew that I was pregnant, I found a way and got back to fidelity. So you mean he never knew? No. That. Believe me, I don't have the slightest idea on how to approach this matter. I just pray that time heals this wound. It's okay, hmm? But please try it, okay? Please. Okay? We'll do in a minute.
How are you? And your brothers? Mm -hmm. Let me call your mom. has been restless. James cries all night. Sometimes I even get scared in my room whenever I think of Henry. I said, don't worry, okay? Everything is going to be alright. God is taking control. Okay? Who has been talking? What could that be? Who that? Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> You witch! You shameless dog! I was a fool to have taken you in. You mean that dead boy is your payment to me for doing all I did for you when your mother was not to you? Now. Let this behave yourself. This is not the time to antagonize your punk accusing fingers. For God's sake, you just lost it. Shame that I've been here to die. How dare you? How dare you break my marriage, my relationship, my trust? Oh, you are so shameless. You are so shameless. I will show you, Augusta. Augusta, I will sh I will deal with you, Augusta. I'm leaving your house. You will see. You will see. <laughs> Where are you coming from? Um, I went to see my friend down the road. Which friend? Down which road? Um, I met her... Um, Let this be the last time you cross my gate to go and see any friend. Do you hear me? You went to see your mother, didn't you? No, Dad. Don't lie to me. I will not allow you to get infected by that woman. I will not allow any part of her to get into you. Do you hear me? She's a snake. Now get into your room. I'd rather die smoking than die in the hands of that traitor. She's nothing but a snake, that's what she is. You sound so bitter. And believe me, you have every reason to be. But please, do not allow this to destroy you. You'll have to go to the village and inform them about what has happened. I can't go now. Hello? Ah, Richard. How are you? You want me to come right away? Are the results ready? Should I come with the children? Okay, okay, I'll be there right away. It's the doctor who wants me to come to the hospital right away. Okay, well, if I have to go to the village, I might have to leave immediately so that I can come back tomorrow.
doctor comes back. Sorry, sir. He'll be with you in a few minutes' time. Oh, Mr. Fidelix. <laughs> Richard, I was beginning to wonder how long it will take you to come back. Uh, I would have sent one of those nurses to go and get the result of the test. But on a second thought, I decided to go get it myself to avoid having it tampered with. So how did the test go? Yeah. Uh, this is for James. What does it say? He's your son. That's great, great, great. What about Anita? Yes, Anita. What does her own say? There is no doubt. She is her daughter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Not that I didn't know, but, well, with recent events, I had to be sure. You never can tell. <laughs> Good. That's great. Aha, uh -huh. what about my first son, John Paul? Oh, John Paul. John Paul. Uh, this is for John Paul. And what does his own say? Uh, I'm sorry, Fidelis. The boy is not a child. What did you say? That John Paul? He's not a child. Actually, we carried out the DNA test, which was near perfect. Then we checked on your blood group. And your racist factor is positive. And from the last time your wife was here with a child, we also carried out the test on her. And our racist factor is positive. But strange enough, John Paul's racist factor is negative, which is unbelievable. you're trying to tell me is that John Paul is not my son? Definitely not. He's not your son. Then whose son is he? I, I, I don't know. Maybe ask your wife or Augusta. She may be in a better position to know. Fidelis, your coming here is a very big surprise. I was actually going to see you much later in the evening. Excuse me, let me get your wife. What is private about it? I still would like to talk with you in private, if you don't mind. Well, suit yourself. I don't see what difference it will make when you finish your meeting outside. Augusta. Augusta, come see you.
August. Due to the recent events that took place, I took it upon myself, having known your family, to come and discuss this with you. Discuss what? Henry and his paternity. No. To talk about your son, John Paul. What about John Paul? We conducted a test on all your children upon your husband's request. The results are out. Anita and James are your husband's children. But John Paul is not. I, I don't know. What are, you, what are you talking about? How dare you? How dare you? John Paul's test was conducted six times. I don't want to be disrespectful here, Augusta. But I want you to think. Beside your husband and Louis. Where did you sleep with? What kind of question is that? How dare you ask me such a question? Eh? I am sorry. My husband is already aware of the result of the test. I am a doctor. And a long time standing friend of this family. And in my profession, this sort of question is common. Sorry, Augusta. I am only helping you as to explain the situation to your husband. I think there's someone here. Augusta, I want you to think. act like this each time I'm traveling. What do you expect Anita to do? Look, Fidelis, you are hardly at home these days. You're always traveling. I have all these things to do, these projects to handle. I need to make the money for us. Yes, I know that, Fidelis, but I mean, come on. Sometimes you're gone for weeks, even months. You just came back from a three-week journey to Abuja. Now you're going to London again for two months. Look, I miss you each time I'm going on these trips. <laughs> then you must be really enjoying missing me because you're always going on these trips, you know. I'm alone in this house with Anita. I know, but Emeka is around. He's, he's the male presence in the house. Emeka is not my husband, Fidelis. I know, but he's my younger brother. Listen. I'll cut short my stay this time for you. Okay? Will you see me off to the airport? Oh, okay. You have barely 45 minutes to check in. Is the car ready? Yep. If you hurry, you won't miss your flight.
gone now. Exactly. I'm sure they are gone now. Gone? Oh, I don't think so. That's the shooting now. Um, go back to your room. <laughs> I can go back to my room and pick up. I'm scared. Yeah. I can go back to my room and my friend. I'm very scared. I'll just stay here. I'll stay okay. here. Okay. Where will you sleep? Don't worry about that. Um, don't worry about that. Anita, Anita, Anita. You don't worry too much. Uh, are you okay? I slept in the maker's room that night and the next and I had him sleep in my room occasionally to douse my fear with all the nights of loneliness then we made love we continued until he came back. That must have been when I took him. I saw there is some sort of pregnancy of error. Please let me take my husband. This wasn't intentional. Please. Augusta. Certain things you do that you would never get away with in this life. This is one of them. I'm sorry. I'm sure so.
so the truth finally came out. Hmm? The dreams of an old woman has finally come to be. Hey! Emeka, are you very sure of this? Uncle, I'm very sure. The reason I'm saying this is because doctors of today, their judgments are not as perfect as that of the oracle, the Rashi Yeke. There could be errors. What errors? Huh? What errors? Errors shown to me in my dreams or errors confessed to by Augusta? I remember each time they come home for Christmas, he spends his time climbing up and down the orange tree behind my building. I wanted to cry. I would have cried. But how can I cry for a child that is not my son's child, but the product of an evil woman's deceit? <laughs> What did you do with my wife? What is that supposed to mean? I said, what did you do with my wife? Jesus! Jesus! What did you do with my wife, Rebecca? Jesus! 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 I will kill Emeka today. Let him say what he did with my wife in my absence. If you don't do it, you will remove the coin. Do you want to kill your brother? Please, please. please. Don't you respect me? I will kill Emeka today. <laughs> Emeka, I swear by the sun, I will kill and bury you. Please. Wherever you are running to, make sure you stay there. Because any day I find you will be your last day on earth. I promise you that. Fidelis. You want to kill your brother in your presence, and you cannot even do it in the front of an uncle. I have to do this. Come and give me that gun. Emeka slept with my wife. What? Have you gone mad? Fidelis. Who fed you with, with such terrible rumors? It is no rumor, Mama. Just as Henry is not my son, so also John Paul is not my son. Uh Emeka slept with my wife and got her pregnant. And John Paul is the product. Oh my God. Hey! Oh. Hey! 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 call a family meeting. I want the family to accompany me to see Augusta's people. For what? I don't want to be married to her anymore and I don't want to have anything to do with her anymore. And I also want to state that from today I will have nothing more to do with Emeka. Fidelis, please my son. Please no. Calm down. Fidelis, calm down. Calm down, uncle. I wake up one morning and discover that two of my sons are no longer my sons. Where is Augusta, your wife? Where is she right now? I don't know. And I don't care to know. She's out of my house and out of my life. Fidelis, please, you have to excuse I and your mother. Let me talk to her.
you are Fidelis' mother. I want to talk to you privately, to hear from you before I speak my mind concerning this issue. What do you want me to say? Look at me now. This is the time I should be enjoying with my children and grandchildren. But see what is happening to me. Eh? My son wants to kill his brother. We must find a way to resolve this issue. This problem has already been solved. That woman must live my son's life and home for good. What happens to a maker and the child that we were told that is a maker's? I don't know what to say. To tell you the truth, I don't even know what to think or say anymore. This is what I think. We must bury this issue. Bury? How? For the interests of the children, that of Emeka and Fidelis. How do you tell the children that have been living together that John Paul is no longer their brother? How? How do you tell Fidelis to let go of the whole thing? Put yourself in his shoes now. He must forgive. Fidelis must forgive. Forgiveness is the answer to this problem. Now let me go and talk to him. Who's to be blamed? Mm. Maybe we all are without blame. Cause in the end, we're the same. Every action gets a reaction, but forgiveness. I personally want to talk to you man to man. I know how you feel. The pains and shame. The agony of betrayal. The only thing that will placate me is for thunder to strike them all dead before nightfall today. In God's name it will not happen. What has happened has happened. We must find a solution to this problem. The only solution is for the marriage between Augusta and myself to be dissolved. The solution is forgiveness. You must forgive. I must do what? <laughs> you can't be serious, Uncle. Fidelis, you only think of yourself. Think of your children. If you allow this to happen, it will tear your children apart and they will end up being the product of a broken home. They will be well taken care of. Fidelis, can you look John Paul in the eyes and tell him that he's no more your child? He grew up knowing you as his father. All his life he calls you father and no one else. Well, I have discussed this issue with your mother and she agrees with me. There is no need spreading this scandal far and wide. It must be resolved between us. Uncle, how can I live with this? How do I wake up every morning and behold the face of the woman that slept with my best friend and my brother? Instead, let her have a room in the house but your children will live with your father and their mother. One of them is not my child. Fidel is everything that comes from your wife is yours from the very day you married her. John Paul is and will continue to be your son. You must forgive. Fidel is After you all must. Has been said and done. Who's to be blamed? Mm. Maybe we all are without blame. And the children said you were to run. Look, Susan, if you're here for Augusta, I think it's a complete waste of your time. 
Philippines, I know how terrible you must have felt over this situation. You cannot even begin to imagine what it feels like. Do you know what it means? The pain, the betrayal and the emotional trauma? I don't think you have the slightest idea. Augusta told me the whole truth about what happened. Yes, she committed that act, but you were part of it. She's to be blamed. But when you look at the pictures the first time you committing that sin, you have your own faults too. Are you out of your mind, Susan? Did you come here to accuse me over my wife's infidelity? Fidelis, at the time of your marriage, you brutalized your wife. You became a terror to her. And you're running away from this devil nightmare, she ran into the hands of your brother and your friend, which of course resulted to what has just happened. Let me tell you something. I feel no sympathy for Augusta if that's what you're here to solicit for. Fidelis, if you had shown her more love, given her more of your time and attention, this will never have happened. I am not here to exonerate Augusta, but all I'm saying is that you should please forgive her, at least for the sake of your children. It was just a sin of omission. Look, Susan, I do not need this lecture from you. I will not have that woman near my home anymore, and that's final. No, please don't say that, Fidelis. Augusta is truly very sorry. She cries all night. How touching. She hardly eats, and she's slowly starving herself to death. Please, forgive her. It wasn't intentional. Please don't put her to shame like this. You and the children mean the whole world to her. And she thinks highly of you. Please, forgive her and bring her back home. Are you through? Look, for what Augusta did, after all the love I'd shown her, I think she deserves worse than death. I'm sorry your coming here was a complete waste of your time. I was on my way out anyway. I'm sure you can find your way. After all has been said and done, who's to be blamed? Mm. Maybe we all are without blame. Cause in the end, we're the same Every action gets a reaction But forgiveness brings the solution Said every action gets a reaction But forgiveness brings the solution Oh no, no. Beware of the people around you. Oh, yeah. You call your friends. You call your friends. Even Come. the ones you hold close to your heart. Close to your heart. The ones you trust. Oh, no matter what, no go matter. be the same. The ones. same ones. The same ones to break your heart. Break your heart. Break your heart. Is it true John Paul is not our brother? Who told you that? I went to see him home. And I overheard her talking with Auntie Susan. John Paul, listen. It's not true, okay? Hmm? Mm -hmm. son just like James and I'm your father okay 
don't let anybody tell you any different. Do you hear me? But where is our mom not home? Are you going to send me away like you sent her away? Daddy, please don't send me away. John Paul, nobody is sending you anywhere. You are my son and I will not send you away, okay? 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 Whatever Anita heard from Susan is not true. Not true. Do you hear me? Good. Daddy, please forgive mommy. Let her come home. We miss her. Please. After all <laughs> has been said and done. <laughs> Who's to be blamed? Mm. Maybe we all are without blame. Augusta, what do you think you're doing to yourself? You haven't eaten anything for days now. Susan, I'm not hungry. Do you know that you are deliberately starving yourself to death? Look, Susan. How do I face everybody now? Hmm? How do I face the society? My family? What excuse do I have, really? What excuse? Let God be the judge of that, okay? Yes, you messed up, but it wasn't entirely your fault. If your husband had spent more time with you, giving you more love and attention, this will never have happened. Look, I want you to cheer up, okay? And listen to me. We all make mistakes. This is one mistake too many. A mistake of my life. After all has been said yes, and done. Who's to be blamed? Mm. Maybe we all are without blame. Cause in the end, we're the same. Every action gets a reaction. But forgiveness brings the solution. Said every action gets a reaction. But forgiveness. I brought them to see their mom. After all has been said and done, Let me have who's to be blamed? Mm. Maybe we all are without blame, cause in the end we're the same. In every action, gets a reaction but forgiveness brings the solution said every action gets a reaction but forgiveness brings the solution oh no, no. beware of the people around you oh, yeah. you call your friends you even the ones you hold Close to your heart The ones you trust No matter what Go be the same ones The same ones to break your heart 